Hello, good afternoon. I am so happy. It's time to draw. My favorite time of the day. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. It's uh, 4.09 in Houston, Texas. 4.09 Central Time. It is March 13th, and this is day day 73. Day 73 of our journey of drawing every day, or one drawing a day no matter what. Ha! As soon as I push play, I start burping. It, it never ceases to amaze me. Um, today is day 73. It's episode 182. Welcome back to you, my faithful 500 uh, followers who are my uh, artists, my my creatives that watch and draw with me with this posted recording over the next 24 to 48 hours. And uh, any, time, any moment now, I'll have my diligent drawing dozen. I usually have about a dozen to two dozen that come on right with me live. And I, I see I have one. Hi. <clears throat> Hello. We have U U Umiko. Hello from YouTube. We have YouTube here. I usually give it a few minutes uh, to uh, catch up with our live folks. But I'm so glad you guys are here today. We're going to draw this uh, portal of imagination. Here's a black and white version of it. Isn't that fun? And... Uh, this is a drawing I created a, a few years ago, and today I had so much fun. I was doing a virtual uh, virtual drawing school. I went to a virtual assembly for some a school in Pennsylvania, so I had to get up at 6 in the morning because of the time difference out there, <coughs> and we did uh, three different 50-minute three different, uh, programs. 50 so this was, we had age, we had grades, kindergarten through fourth grade, with me, they, we had a wide range. Usually, I like to have uh, it broken down into a little, um, a little um, less of an age span. Usually, I like to have kindergarten, first, second grade together, <clears throat> and then third, fourth, and fifth grade together. And so that way, if I keep the ages together, it doesn't. Uh, um, you know, cause uh, stress. I don't want. I, I want the kindergartens, the first graders, the second graders to enjoy the process, and we sing a little bit more. We're a little more silly with the third, fourth, and fifth, and sixth and eighth grade graders. I get a little more in the detail. But today, I had a one one challenge, one heck of a challenge to draw a lesson for fifty minutes for uh, the five six year olds all the way up to the nine year olds. And we did it. We did it. With the teachers uh, all enjoyed it, <clears throat> and as they said, the students were fully engaged. So this was one of the programs right here. I did three of them. We did a flying. Th the idea was a space theme, so we did a little spaceship and a whole holy planet, and we drew a cool little robot. And I told the kids about my YouTube channel coming live, and they they really wanted to do a dinosaur on the moon. So I drew a dinosaur. I was going to put a helmet on him, but I ran out of time. So that was program number one. This was program number two, and we before they, the kids took off on their space journey, we drew a cereal bowl in 3D with all the, their friends in the window with the different hairstyles. This, this, this is uh, Yvonne, <clears throat> and I made Yvonne have a really long hair coming in, a little shadow underneath. We drew uh, the pencil rocket, we drew little aliens, and then we did a penguin on the moon. This is our third program. And this, I had so much fun at the portal of imagination that I'm going to do it today. We're going to draw that today. Um, we drew the marshmallow family. We, we've done that before with you guys. We drew the fish and the space kitty. So that was really fun. We did. We drew three programs today, and that was a that was a lot of a lot of zooming. Uh, hello, Jeff Pendergraph on Facebook. Hello, Phil on Facebook. Hello, Zayu. Hello, Richard on uh, Facebook. <clears throat> now this one doesn't have the fast mute where I can just flip it up, so I have to I have to get the switch. All right, so we're going to draw the portal of imagination. There's the black and white version. There's the colored version. Isn't that cool? I love it. So let's jump right into our drawing lesson. What do you say? Let's jump right into our uh, our drawing. Adventure today, so I'm gonna put my, I'll put my little, yeah, Martian blobs. I'm gonna put my little spacer here, 
and it's four and a quarter by five and a half, right? A little, just to give it a little space. And I usually just uh, generally, it's a general guideline for what I'm doing here. All right, hey, I'll have you know, <clears throat> you're gonna be so proud of me. I finally, I went to the optometrist, and I got, I got my uh, my my new prescription. Finally, finally, and. Um, I am a little bit freaked out because my eyes have been pretty healthy, except for my allergies, itch, 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 right? But uh, they gave me a new prescription, and I went down, and I ordered new glasses from Costco, obviously. Costco, the hot dog capital of the world. So I'll have new glasses, so I'll be able to see you guys. I'll be able to see your comments here easily. And uh, But the uh, the optometrist told me, oh, you know, by the way, you have mild cataracts. Uh, I had, I, you know, and, and I said, why, what happened? You know, I mean, I've been so, my eyes have been fine for 20 years, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's a gift of turning 60. I guess 40% of uh, us old folks develop cataracts throughout our senior years. Isn't that a joy? So, so uh, I said, oh, what do you do? What do you do? What do you, how do you protect it? And they go, well, you just, uh, you got to wear sunglasses, and I never wear sunglasses. So I'm going to wear sunglasses, UV protection. I'm going to make sure my glasses, I'm going to, I, I got, I ordered prescription sunglasses when I'm riding my bike. Okay, there you go, proud of me there. And I uh, ordered uh, uh, UV protected regular glasses. So I have two pair now. That's awesome. All right, so let's see here. We have a lot of, a lot of comments coming in. Uh, we have Martian Blobs coming. Bruce Arbuckle, hello from France. Bruce, one of our sponsors. Thank you for coming on. If you want to join Bruce sponsoring our daily, if this, if you're valuing these, if you value these time, this time, every day drawing with me, a daily drawing, uh, you can kick in some support. My team would really appreciate it. it it's uh, because of generous contributors like you that we keep our lights on. So thank you. If if well, if you value this time with me, why not kick in a quarter a day and, and sponsor me or 50 cents a day or a dollar a day? You can go to go to the website, markus.com, scroll down, and you'll see this. Click it, and it'll give you a bunch of options to sponsor, show you all the cool things you get. I want to thank Bruce Arbuckle for sponsoring Lisa Duff and Megawatt and McKenzie from North Carolina, William and Debbie with a wife, Foster from NASA from Houston. Thank you guys for being my gold sponsor, and I would love you guys to become a sponsor. Day, day 73. So if you're with me and you're enjoying it, and if you really value it, kick in a quarter a day. That would be awesome if it's worth it to you. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, uh, Phil Phil is saying, whatever ha happened to Zebtron? Whatever happened to Zebtron? Well, here's Zebtron right here. There's Zebtron. Joel Gorey, dear, dear friend of mine. He lives in Philadelphia in Pennsylvania. And uh, um, in fact, I was on Zoom in Pennsylvania. I was thinking about it today. I'm going to give him a call later on. But we're very good friends. We talk often. He He's in the movie. He's uh, interviewed in the movie, The Secret Cities of Mark Kistler. Good movie here. You see him on the back. There he is on the back of the DVD. Um, he he did. He played all the characters. He played Meta Man, and he played uh, Cindy the Dragon. An incredibly talented guy. What a just a wonderful man. I sure miss him. Good, good friend of mine. All right, uh, you decorate cake. You do. You decorate cakes at Costco. I love Costco. Well, you, uh, you, uh, it's awesome. You're working at one of my favorite stores. Fulfill Pinson says, "What? Well, there's that uh, Zeptron question." There's Paul Print. Hello, Paul Screen Print. Good to see you. And then Paul said, I, I eat cakes from Costco. So do I. That's funny. Jake Pallet, hello from California. Uh, good job. All right, let's get going here, guys. Let's draw. We're going to draw that the, the portal of imagination. We're going to draw this guy right here. Okay, it's going to be fun. So I'm going to start. I'll start with a, uh, I'll start with the, the circle here. I'm going to start with the circle. I'm going to block it in. I'm going to draw the, the circle. And I'm going to, maybe I won't draw it that big. I think I'll, I'll draw a little bit smaller circle here. I'll draw a little bit smaller circle. Okay. All right. So 
I start with my circle and darken it in. See, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look at this. My circle's all lopsided and all. Uh, and then I'm going to put the, the uh, thickness of the, the, the portal of imagination. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Give yourself, give yourself permission to make mistakes. Okay? You've got to flop. You have to make mistakes in order to succeed. You have to strike out in order to hit home runs. No stress. Somebody type in beep, beep, beep. Somebody type in beep, 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 beep. Okay? Good to see you guys. Hello, Bush Thompson. Good to see you. Thank you for coming here today. And we have 14. As soon as we get to as soon as we get to 18, I'm gonna run the uh I'm gonna run the open and, and we're gonna have Amanda and I are working on some really cool little 30 second spots talking about the summer art camps, talking about the the I have to I wonder what what did I do with my cool summer art camp? Uh what did I do with those? Where is my where is my Nifty little, where are they? Oh, here they are. Coming this summer, I have six one-week uh, uh, virtual, one week, Monday through Friday, summer art camps. Get your kids signed up in the evening to get your whole family to take it. I, I'm doing an evening class for you kids, that, for you adults that are young at art, young at heart. So, and we're putting together a spot talking about our Draw 3D membership. You guys... Thank you guys, everybody, for uh, who are members of my Draw 3D. That's been around for 20 years, thousands of families, and over 400 really cool video tutorials. So thanks for your support and thanks for your mem membership there. All right, I'm going to use my drawing direction and I'm going to draw the. I'm going to draw the portal. I'm going to draw the thickness. You see here, I'm going to draw the thickness here. I'm going to start lightly. Okay, and I'm going to draw the thickness. This, this, this is cool. Now, uh, look at that. Well, thank you guys for having little conversations in the in the uh, chat box. Now, look at what I'm doing. See, I put in the thickness. I'm going to put these bolts, and then I'm going to draw that inside thickness and put our friends here. So here's the inside thickness. I'm, I'm drawing kind of light. You see this? Drawing kind of light here getting our, our drawing all shaped together here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'll put the darkening, the thickness of my of my portal, my window. This is on the side of your spaceship or your rocket, and it's popping out. There's the thickness here coming up here. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put some bolts on the outside here. I'll put some bolts here, and I'll put some bolts coming down over here. Then over here, I'm going to have these bolts disappearing around the back, see? I'm going to put some bolts around here, and you barely see that bolt. See that? Isn't that fun? You guys enjoying it? Beep, beep. That's right. Beep, beep. No stress. No stress. All right, so we, we're going to put that, <clears throat> we're going to use a, a really nice value back here. We're going to darken this inside, and we're going to add shading. But before we do that, let's go ahead and put some of our friends here. So this is our little our little alien guys. Hello, Jason Who on YouTube. Good to see you. It's good to see you. I have Facebook there too. Hi, Facebook. All right, so I'm gonna have this this little fellow's looking straight at you. This guy's looking right at you. And then I'm gonna put another little character right over here. And this little character is gonna be looking over this way. Okay, isn't that fun? We're just going to overlap all these. We're just going to uh, overlap these, and then I'm going to draw these over here. Look at that. I'm going to draw this one, and then this guy. Look at, there's his eyes looking up. Isn't, aren't these fun? Look at, we're just doing our little overlapping friends here. Our little overlapping friends. Overlap, overlap. Hello, Fernando. Well, we are at 18. Let's see if we're going to get to, let's see, maybe we'll get to 22. That's, uh, it's, I guess this is a really good time to go live, huh? All right. It's good to see you, dozen and a half artists. I hope you guys are drawing with me. We're using overlapping. We're using thickness. We're going to use value in a second. We're going to use shading. This is really, really cool here. Let's see. As I'm drawing here. 
All right. I am enjoying seeing all you participants. I love it. Now, even if you are just joining me today, is this your first day? If you're, this is your first day, I'm glad you're here. And don't worry about starting now. We're on day, some of us are on day 73. But if you're starting now, great. Just make this day one, day two, and see how many you can continue drawing. Hello, D uh, Denise Baker edition uh, from Grand Rapids. Hello from Kansas. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see. I'm going to put another uh, another little guy up here. We have our little, all of our little aliens in here. Isn't that fun? And I think I'll put one more right here. One more. Oh, they're just, they're just so fun. All right. I'm going to go ahead on inside. I'm going to darken in the inside. I'm going to take my pencil. And I'm going to really make that. I'm going to, I want to make that value. See, I really want to make that background pop out. Okay. Uh, from Houston, Texas, Fernando. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you. I enjoy you guys coming in drawing. Isn't this fun? Every day. Day 73. We're going to make it. We're going to go up. My, my first goal is to break the 199 days consecutive that I did. Oh, by the way, I, I'm at uh, 41,993 or something. I need seven more subscribers to get to 42,000. So thank you for subscribing. Come on. I'm right there, right on the edge of 42,000, on my way to 50,000, on our way to 1 million. We're, we're going to make that happen. We're going to make that happen. 1 million subscribers, 1 million more in 2024, 1 million more drawing in 3D. Are you with me? Who's with me? If you're with me, write, type in 1 million more. If you're with me, type in 1 million more in 2024. If you're with me, who's with me? Who's with me? Never against me. Who's with me? Who's with me to make our our dream, our mission come true? A million artists live drawing together. Woohoo! Woohoo! You guys are doing great. You artists, you you ladies and gentlemen, look at you guys are geniuses. You're my geniuses of drawing. You're my geniuses. Big hug. Here's a big ninja scroll hug for you. I love you. Mwah. I love you. I love you. That's right, Fernando. That's right, Phil. That's right, Jason. Two million more. You guys are going. Bruce Arbuckle, that's right. You guys inspire me with your with your light, your creativity. I have I'm watching you. I'm watching my text messages. I'm watching you. Here's a thumbs up for you guys. That's a thumbs up. Thumbs up for drawing. All right, so now we're gonna start shading. I'm having my light come up here. Here's my light. See, my light's coming from up here, right? Light's coming down from this direction. So watch this. I'm gonna. It's dark here. It's gonna get lighter as it comes across. Okay. Sometimes I turn my drawing so I can, I can shade things easier here. So I'm gonna put first layer here. I'm gonna shade it here. Shade, 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 shade. Shade, 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 shade. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to do layer after layer here on this one. All right? Layer after layer. I'm excited about getting my new glasses. These are so scratched up. I've had these for years. Oh, my goodness. But, they hey, they've lasted for me for years. They've lasted. You know, here, you want to hear a crazy story? When I, I got these glasses at Hawaii, in Hawaii, and I was in Hawaii for about 17 hours. Here's the story. You ready? All right. I was I, I got on the plane. I was going to Hawaii, a Comic Con in Honolulu. It was called uh, uh, Amazing Con. Amazing Con. Okay. And so I'm on my way. Right. I'm I'm on the flight. That long flight from uh, from Houston to Hawaii. I'm all excited to go. And on the way. I hear that, uh, I mean, I knew, I knew there was a hurricane coming, but everybody in the news, the prognosticators, prognosticators, they all thought it was going to, you know, just go 
you know, pass it very, just, just a little bit of the hurricane was going to hit Hawaii, not much of it. But then during the flight, the category, it, it goes up, you know, to category one category. It's going to be like a category four hurricane uh, in Hawaii. When And so uh, on the way, before we even land, the governor is is declaring that people, he wants all the tours to get out in the next uh, uh, eight, what, 12 to 18 hours. He wants everybody to leave. Ha! So here I am. I'm not even landing yet for the Comic-Con, and the governor is declaring a, a state of uh, a state of emergency. Get out. Get out. Here come the hurricanes coming to Honolulu, blah, blah, blah. So... I'm, I'm, so this is what I'm going into. So I know that the Comic Con is going to be canceled. So I'm going to land basically, and spend one, one that you know evening in my Airbnb because I'm going to catch the next flight out in the morning, right within that window before the hurricane gets there. So I'm, you know, I'm kind of bummed about it. Obviously, you know, because I wanted to see Hawaii. You know, first time in Hawaii. All right. So, but I have uh, how many hours? How many hours? Somebody. Look it up for me. How many hours was that flight? I can't remember. It was a long flight, and I had uh, three seats empty me, empty next to me. Okay, I had three seats empty next to me, and and there was a, a college kid sitting over there. She was uh, sitting over on the far aisle, and and I it was there was three three seats in the middle, and I was at the end. Well, we were we were going into it, and I was really tired. We were going into the flight. And I was just sitting there reading, and uh, the light, every, the lights were down, everything. So I went up, looked over to this uh, college gal, this college lady, and I said, um, "You know, hello, and uh, are you? Do you? Would you mind, or if you want to, you can. The seats are empty. Would you mind if you're not gonna, uh, if you don't want to lay down in it? Can I lean over and and like take up the the couple of the seats in the middle, and?" Um, I don't know if, if you know, I've, I've always been done that, and it's been cool. When I went to Europe or go to long flights, if there's empty seats, we, we kind of share it between, you know, a couple hours for this guy and a couple hours for that person. Um, so um, sh she didn't have any problem. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So so I I was so relieved. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I put, I fell Friday to sleep, laid, put my head down, I, you know, took up a couple seats. I think it took up about two and a half seats. So she, she I wasn't, you know pushing into her, but, you know, there was room. There was plenty of room still, but I was very happy, right? So I took my glasses, took my glasses off like this, right? And I know I did this. I know I did this. I put them right on the seat. Uh, when I'm laying here, it was on the seat between me and the and the other passenger. I put them right here so I knew where they were. So, Phil, so I woke up, and I went like this, and my glasses weren't there. This is after a couple hours of sleeping. And I could, I, you know, I was like, oh, my goodness, where's my glasses? Where are my glasses? So I looked over at the at the passenger, and I said, um, you know, I said, hi, thank you so much for, for you know, sharing the middle here. Uh, but I can't find my glasses, and I put them right here, right between you and I. You know, do you, do you know where they are? And, you know, she's. She just kind of, it's hard. It was just, it was really, really bizarre. I got, I, I kind of got a, a kind of weird look from her and, you know, uh, you know, kind of a, uh, no, like that. And I was like, no, no, seriously, I really don't know where it is. And, uh, and I had really strange vibes from her. I've never had this. I was like, oh my goodness. I, you know, if I can't, I can't say that this person, Took my glasses. I don't know. I don't have any proof, but they were right there, right? So for the next like two hours, I searched every, under the seat. I had the the flight attendants come down and they made an announcement, asking people look on the floor for my glass. It was just for. Uh, it must have been two hours. I was looking around. I was like, oh, I went to the bathroom to see if the I had left the glasses in the. You know, it's just and. They never found him, all right? So here I am, landing, hurricanes coming into Hawaii, right? Hurricanes coming. I have no glasses and never been in this situation before. And I'm in my head going, okay, you can't, you can't, 
blame somebody because you don't have any proof. But in my head, I'm like, oh, that person, you know. But, I mean, it's entirely possible that, you know, some freak of alien, electronic, something zapped my glasses away. That's something could have happened. It could have happened because we looked under the, all the seats and in the back of the seat rest, and I was so frustrated. So, okay. So we what, before we're landing, I'm asking the, the, the flight attendants, I said, all right, uh, I, I, ha I have no idea what I'm going to do. You know, what am I going to do? They said, all right. We're going to get you a um, a porter, uh, uh, a guide in a wheelchair, all right? So you can, they'll, they'll take you in the wheelchair. They'll take you to baggage claim. You'll be able to get your bags. They'll help you get your bags. And then you can um, uh, figure it out from there. I said, okay, well, that's that helps. So we landed. I got, I got this really, so everybody gets off, and I'm just... One more time, looking for my glasses, looking for my glasses, thinking, all right, here we go. I'm in Hawaii. First time in my life I'm in Hawaii. I want to see Hawaii. I want to see it. And no, I can't see it. It's a big blur. So the porter is really cool. Porter takes me on this long journey through the blurry airport down to baggage claim. So I describe my bags. He has my ticket. He gets my bags. So then I, I, uh, I ask him, do you mind uh, getting me... And Uber, do you mind, I mean, would you mind taking me out to the Uber? I'm going to call Uber right now, and I got to get an Uber to uh, the nearest uh, place for glasses, which happened to be in the mall. So I drew, flew all those hours to land in Hawaii to get the porter to put me in the Uber to go to a mall. Now, now I am, if you know me, I'm not a fan of malls. All right, I I just I don't. I'm not a big fan of shopping. Period. Right. I, you know, I just, hey, just order it online. So what do I do? I go, I get the Uber and we go, I go to Lens Crafter and I explain to the Uber guy, I said, okay, sir, um, I'm in a predicament. I can't see. I don't have my glasses. I got to get to Lens Crafters. And apparently, according to the map, it's on the third floor up there. And I, I just can't see well enough to get there. Is there any way that you could park and and walk me in so the cool guy right all, all all hawaiian uber drivers are cool right so look what i'm gonna do i'm gonna I, i'm blending the shading see i'm doing layers i'm nice and dark under here and then i'm gonna put this extra value around here see this so the uber guy parks uh you have a that me right now i'm not sure if you knew this no i didn't know this uh, Facebook, how is the sound coming? One through Facebook. How is the sound doing? Is sound one through five? Tell me if you're is, uh, YouTube. How's the sound on YouTube? Are you getting my my story about Hawaii's hurricane coming down, bearing down? And I lost my glasses. Lost my glasses. Uh, Jason Schiller. Hello, Jason. Say all right. Well, thank you. All right, so you're on the edge of your seat with my story. So the Uber driver, cool Hawaiian Uber driver, walks me in. I'm holding his elbow, right? Walks me in, gets me set up in the lens crafter. I look up my prescription for my glasses, and the my prescription had is it was one day away from expiring. Can you believe that? One day. So I, I ordered the glasses, and it was going to take them, it'll take like uh, two hours to, uh, to make the glasses. So I had to sit there, uh, sit in the mall in Lens Crafters, looking at the blur, and I'm just, well, I was just very fortunate. They said, made me new glasses. Okay, so I got new glasses. Very exciting. All right, so then I called the Uber driver back, comes back, and had my new glasses, and after a long wait, and I, you know, had my luggage there, so I reloaded my luggage and got to the Airbnb, knowing I only had about, what, 12 hours remaining till my flight. So I checked an Airbnb. It was uh, right there on in, in Honolulu. I remember seeing the Diamond Head, and I was right across from the zoo in Honolulu. A little, uh, it said Airbnb, but it was a hotel, right? You ever do that? You sign it. You 
you think you're getting an Airbnb and you basically get a hotel that just went to Airbnb to fill more rooms. So I had a hotel. They were cool. They were nice. And uh, park, they, they had me park across the street at the zoo, right? And I uh, went in there, had some dinner, and went to sleep. But I wanted to get up early because I only had a couple hours before the, my flight would leave uh, back to, you know, right away return. So I, uh, uh, I, I got a rental car. And I uh, drove. I just I did this wonder. I loop. I went up the coast of the of um, the coastline and looked at. It was just so beautiful. And I get maybe I remember maybe I had more than that hours because I spent the day driving around all over the. And then I um, uh, I went to a luau. I actually I I looked around t- things to do in one day in Hawaii, and so I went to a luau. It was so much fun, and you know they have all those the the all the the meals and the leaves and it's like picnic tables and a bunch of tours there. They're playing music. There's a comedian, and one of the actors climbs the tree and gets a coconut out of the tree and climbs down and opens a coconut, and it was really really cool. So we did that, and after the luau, I had my bags. And I already checked out. So I went back and got on a flight with my, you know, my new glasses. And I made sure that I kept those in my pocket the whole time. No laying down and sleeping for me. So that's my, oh, yeah, there was this, the Hawaii story because everybody was trying to get out because the hurricane was coming in, coming in. So I went all the way out there, spent, uh, well, I had I had that morning, afternoon, and I did the luau. And then I flew back out again. Yeah, it was so that's my story. There you go. There is your portal of imagination. Uh, uh, well, thank you, Dar. I'm glad it's working for you now. Adam Short said, if something happens with the sound, you can always just log out, log back in. Sometime that helps. So cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you for drawing with me. Look at that. Um, be sure if you want to join draw3d.com, be sure to. Go to draw3d.com, and hey, I forgot to run the, the open. Let's run the open. I just love that little my little open here, so let's see here. Let's run a little open. Actually, I'll call that my clothes now. There's my clothes. Thank you guys for drawing with me. Day 73, uh, episode 182, Fist Bump for Creativity. Thanks for drawing with me. Stay creative. Stay cool. Stay super nice to each other. I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everybody.